thanks for tuning in, or should I say, thanks for zooming in. I hope I look familiar to you. If not, I'm Beth Halliday. I'm the head of Children's Services at the South Orange Public Library. Today's special program, Sing a Story, is in honor of Black History Month. We have two storytellers. One, I think you should know very well, is Keisha Miller, our teen librarian, our reference librarian, and an amazing storyteller. Our second storyteller is new to the community, so you might not know, but let me introduce him now, James Dargan. I'd like to ask you, what brought you to South Orange? Well, um, and don't worry, you guys, you will see the bottom half of my face um, in a little bit. Um, but <laughs> uh, my partner and I and our wonderful black cat, CJ, who actually runs the house, we, we fled Boston, or actually, sorry, Brooklyn, uh, because of the pandemic. And we were really shocked, first of all, to find a house that we could afford, <laughs> but also to find one in a place that is so welcoming and convenient for us as South Orange. You know, we have, at least for me, I'm a tennis fanatic, and so there are courts walkable from, my, from our house. There's, you know, SOPAC. There's all of these wonderful things that I'm sure South Orange residents are very used to. But for us coming from the city, it's like a wonderland. Right. Um, and I have to say, I've never been within walking distance from my local library. Yay. So it's kind of nice. I live around a couple of corners from the library. Right. So it's really sweet. Right. I do understand, too, being somebody who moved here from Brooklyn about right. 20 years ago. Right. And just finding such a welcoming community. So yeah. I hope you feel the same way. We want to welcome you to South Orange. Thank you so much. And let the program begin. Yeah. Well, thank you, Beth, for that introduction. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sing the Story. Uh, we are so excited to be able to bring this program to you today. But we uh, wanted to share a little bit about what we're going to be doing before we actually dive right into it. Um, had the opportunity to meet James, who I have been calling Jason this entire time. Um, but uh, I got it correct. So, James, I uh, had the opportunity to meet you uh, just a couple weeks ago. and. Um, something entirely different, but uh, we are so glad to have you here today in celebration of Black History Month. And as Beth said, welcome to the community. We uh, pride ourselves here at SOPL to run a great library. Uh, and as Beth says, we only work here. It belongs to the community. That's right. So um, as we get into what we're going to be doing today, as I mentioned, I want to introduce uh, the work of Ashley Bryant who is a celebrated uh, children's book author and illustrator. Um, he is from Harlem, New York. And uh, in 1962, he actually was uh, the first African-American children's book illustrator and author, which I didn't learn until much recently. Uh, so as we talk about uh, representation, and as we talk about inclusion, it's really heartwarming to learn this about Mr. Bryan, who is still alive. And um, very famous, uh, Jason know. Reynolds, yeah. who I came across uh, via social media the other day, mentioned that Mr. Bryan is worthy of a Kennedy honor. So mm -hmm. hopefully in his lifetime he can be recognized for the work that he has done. Mm -hmm. Here we have uh, several of his books, um, Let It Shine, which James and I will be doing uh, uh, performance? Yeah, we're going to do a, it's, I think of it as a, 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 a reading with a soundtrack. I'm the soundtrack part, and she's going to be the reading part. <laughs> That's so much better than the word performance. Um, <laughs> we have, uh, we have Let It Shine. Mm. We also have Walk Together Children, Black American Spirituals. Uh, we have Beat the Story, Drum, Pum, Pum, as well as Ashley Bryan's Puppets and the famous uh, illustrated by Kadir Nelson, He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. All of these books are available to you in the children's room, of course, with the library card, and we welcome you to come in because the library is open and serving the public Monday through Thursday, 9 to 6, Fridays, 9 to 5. Every day we're closed from 12 to 2, and we'll resume uh, weekend hours on Sundays shortly. Uh, so that being said, James, are you ready? I am so ready. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take down my mask just so I can read the story. And 
this session is being recorded, so those folks who aren't able to zoom in with us yeah. can certainly uh, see this at a later yeah. time. Yeah. And as I mentioned, all of these other works by Mr. Bryan, today we'll be reading Beautiful Blackbird by Ashley Bryan. And if you've been to Storytime with me before, you know that I always give credit to the publisher. And so this is brought to us by Athenum Books for Young Readers. <clears throat> Blackbird stirred the blackening brew in his medicine gourd. 
he stirred it round and round, and then he dipped his feather brush into the pot. With his free wing, he spun Ring Dove around, holding his brush to Ring Dove's neck. Ring Dove sang, Cuckoo! Cuckoo! See what a swinging ring of black can do? Blackbird bowed to the crowd as a chirping arose. Ring Dove's black is beautiful. Beak to beak, peck, peck, peck. He's just like Blackbird around the neck. Oh, Blackbird, can we have some of that blackening too? We all need what your black can do. You're such an artist with your feather brush. A touch of your black will be good for us. Blackbird said, Tomorrow, I'll mix the rest of my black roots in a larger medicine gourd. I'll give what I can give until it all gives out. The birds danced, the sundown danced, and then went to nest. All through the night, the birds dreamed of black. Black markings on the head, tail, wing, front, or back. Birds rose up at sunup and took to their wings. Oh, way up high! Their colors filled the sky. With a flip-flop flapping of their wings, a stirring whirring of the air, they flew down to the lake from everywhere. Ring Dove carried Blackbird's large gourd and set it down. Blackbird stirred with a stick in his wing and said, We'll see the difference a touch of black can make. Just remember, whatever I do, I'll be me, and you'll be you. Blackbird tipped his feather brush into the pot and tapped out dots. Some were large, some were small. Close together or far apart, it was a challenge to Blackbird's art. With strokes long and short, he painted stripes. Blackbird swept his brush stroke steady. He drew lines only when his brush was ready and full with the black, black brew. The paint in the gourd was getting low. Blackbird still had more to go before he had decorated the birds with black, one and all. Save some for us, cried the small birds. We've been in line and we were on time. We won't step back till we get a touch of black too. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Ring Dove tipped the gourd. Blackbird slipped his brush way, way in. He brushed the rest of the birds with marks and arcs. He black tapped the last small bird of the flock. And then Blackbird sang, I've painted plenty, plenty, plenty. The gourd's now empty. birds surrounded Blackbird and sang, Our color sport a brand new look. A touch of black was all it took. Oh, beautiful black. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Black is beautiful. Uh-huh. The end. Beautiful Blackbird. James, you're not a bad violinist. <laughs> you know, I do the best of what you're I You're not got. bad at all. I do the best of what I got. <laughs> you know, that was really fun. I often, nev I never get to back up somebody who's reading. Usually I've played in pit orchestras for musicals or, or operas or occasionally for a play, but never for just a, a book that's being brought to life um, with our local better version of Reading Rainbow, if you will. Um, <laughs> Pressure. <laughs> I feel like I feel like now though, because the the mask beard itch has escalated to the point where I have to be free. Um, I want to sing, if I may, uh, the first song from Let It Shine, um, and I, I want to take it a little bit into nerd town now, if I can, um, because 
then there's no way that y'all would know this, but now that everybody's masked up, I'm gonna bottom half the face. <gasps> um, there's no reason y'all would know this because I'm very new to the town, as you've heard, but my career has been built a lot around spirituals, and we call them a lot of different things. Uh, black American spirituals, um, African American spirituals, Negro spirituals. But the word spiritual is the important part because it can move you and move your body and soul and spirit. Because this music was made by my ancestors, ancestors and your ancestors and Shanice's ancestors, by people who were just trying to keep their body and mind and soul in one piece under incredible hardship. And so I just, I take so much hope from every one of these songs. I love that we have Walk Together Children. We've got, he's got Paul Worrell in his hands. And I love especially these two spirituals that I'm gonna sing, one now and one at the end of this song. The first one is um, This Little Light of Mine. And if you know this at home, don't hesitate to sing along. <laughs> it goes like this. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, oh, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. And now I'm going to have my mask back on. <laughs> it's nice to just let loose once in a while. Yeah. You know, just, just once in a while. I was going to join you, you know. I mean, I, oh. I, I want that, though. I, no, I was going to sing like your backup singer. I mean, yeah. Okay, so do well, then when we do, <laughs> when we do the song at the end, <laughs> no, 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 no. we're going to do He's Got the Whole World in His Hands at the End. And Keisha's gonna sing too. It's gonna be great. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> read book. So. She can read very well. <laughs> so thank you, James. That beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> absolutely it. beautiful. I'm responsible for humor. Oh yeah, sure. Okay, okay yeah. sorry. <laughs> She's got a triple quadruple thread over. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. So. Here we go. It's kind of hard to follow that. <laughs> Let it shine is, um, is is this version of Let It Shine is by Ashley Ryan, and uh, in this book there are three different spirituals. Um, it's this particular uh, book. It's just it's so beautiful. beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So as we talk about Ashley Bryan being an illustrator, mostly here we mostly collage. Yes, mostly yes. a lot of uh, a lot of uh, collage collage work. Um, so so yes, we uh, had some of these uh, printed out from Blackbird just as a little backdrop, yeah. which adds to it. We'll keep it up. Keep it up, yeah. All right, so <clears throat> this little light of mine. James and I are going to let it shine. Yes. So, this particular book also brought to you by Athena Books for Young Readers. Mm -hmm. This little light of mine. <clears throat> Under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. 
Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. chapters for, for different songs? Do we want to... There's... This is just Let It Shine, right? This is uh, This Little Mind of Mine. Then yeah. it goes to oh, When the Saints Go Marching Ooh, In. Ooh. Which is... um. <laughs> Everybody in the formation, I love it. And then the next song is He's Got the Whole the World. The next in one is He's Got the Whole World oh, in His Hand. That's, yes. the, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah, so, so how do you want to do this? You want so, to. So, how about I play the first verse and y'all sing, right. and then I'll join in the second verse with singing. Did he say sing? I mean, hey, look. Uh, look, look, I, look I'm, just, yeah, I'm just saying. I, I don't know who told me that you could sing, but I remember somebody told me you okay. could sing. So, you, can do it all. you know, I'm just saying. Yeah, that's, uh, okay. There's not, you know, I think that's the okay. way to go. All right. That's the way to go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then you figure out which. I, you know, I'm not surprised. She's a, she's a person of many, many talents. Yeah. Um, I could never be a librarian, so that's one right there. That's out of my reach. But. Yeah, do you think, do you want to read, do you want to sing like kind of each page or do you want to sing off of the thing at the end? Uh, the book, right? Because, yeah, we've got, we've got the complete thing at the end of this. And it is such a wonderful. Change the key to what I want to sing, 
and I'm going to make them deal with it because I want to sing this song once, one I harmonize yeah. well. You do harmonize well, I can tell. So I'm going to take the easy sing. job. I'm going to take the easy job. Okay, so, so I, I, yeah, I harmonize. No, you're doing great. You're doing great. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got the itty bitty babies in his hands. He's got the itty bitty babies in his hands. He's got the little bitty babies in his hands. He's got all of us in his hands. She, she faked me out. Cause she told me she was gonna harmonize with me, and then she looked at me dry. Y'all didn't hear me hum. I was humming. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was beautiful, woman. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just so glad. Do you want to do, he's got you oh, and me, you brother, what? in his hands? Yes, absolutely. Let's see. All right, he's, he's got, got you, you and me, brother. brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, sister, in his hands. He's got everybody in, in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Now, if I sing in your key, I think I can get up there. You want to sing in your? You want to sing in the kids at your chest? Sure. Yeah. So. Like this, you got yeah. you and me, brother. Yeah. Let's do it. You Hold start. on just a moment. Let yeah. Me just, uh, yeah. Yeah. Get your wet your wet your pipes oh, a little yeah. bit. You know. Mm -hmm. I sprung this on her, so you know she's got to. <laughs> See, I, I read stories. By the way, we have story time every Tuesday morning. Right, beautifully. <laughs> at 11 a.m. And and singing and story time all the time. Singing, right? Yeah. We sing songs, but you know, two-year-olds don't care how you sound. Oh come so. on! <laughs> Nobody cares. It's the act of singing it brings people together. It's a visceral this thing. This is true. This yeah. is why we're singing the story. Exactly. Thank you. We're gonna bring it all around. So go ahead and start, and I'll join it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. He's got everybody in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Hey, there we go. Starting to get the harmony. All right. I, I, I just had to get a little practice in. And then this is the last page with all of the possible. This is actually one thing that we want to drop in. Um, so y'all, those of you who sing spirituals and those of you who just enjoy them, the words to spirituals are kind of continually in flux because they're not something that was written down. They were made up. And so the words you know, change based on who is singing them, based on what you can fit into the meter and the rhyme, um, based on what mood you're in at the time. You know, So you'll find different words in almost every version of he's got the whole world in his hands, for instance. You'll oh, find no. 80, 11 different kinds of versions for that. So, How about? Yeah. Oh, yes. I read yeah. this. Okay. And you play. I'm going to play a little bit. All right. So. All right. You want to read the whole thing? Okay. So this is Kadir Nelson's illustrated version of he's got the whole world in his hands. And my friend James here is going to play while I'll read. So sit tight. He's got the whole world in his hands by Kadir Nelson and illustrated by him as well. And this is brought to you, brought to us by Dial Books for Young Readers. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got my brothers and my sisters in his hands. Don't forget the sisters. He's got my brothers and my sisters. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the sun and the rain in his hands. He's got 
got the moon and the stars in his hand. He's got the wind and the clouds in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the rivers and the mountains in his hand. He's got the oceans and the seas in his hand. He's got you and me in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got everybody here in his hands. He's got everybody here in his hands. He's got everybody everywhere in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Hey, just like we drew it up, you know? <laughs> no, just like we rehearsed. <laughs> That's so much fun. Well, yeah. I am my ancestors' wildest dream. In my best case. And so, <laughs> all of the people who have come before us, the people whose shoulders we stand on, whose light we continue to illuminate within ourselves, and we celebrate ourselves, and we celebrate the people who have come before us, and we celebrate the people who are with us each and every day. I thank you, Zane Garden, for You're joining right. us. Thank you. For teacher. celebrating with us, for making Sing the Story something that we have been able to bring to the community of South Orange and anybody who is Zooming in. Yeah. Um, thank you to Beth Halliday, who has introduced you. Thank you to Michael Pucci, who's behind the scenes, uh, working this Zoom call. Um, be sure to check out, well, look for James. He, oh. He's going to... <laughs> he's gonna be around. He lives in town, but he, he's gonna be around. So I'll you hear somebody some playing the violin when the world opens up and we can be yes. with each other without a mask yeah. and we can come together once again. You are certainly welcome back here. Um, I, I want to have a jam session with you in story yes. time. Yes. You can play the violin. I could read. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Um, <laughs> but uh, we have a lineup of events for uh, Black History Month, um, all thanks to the friends of the South Orange Public Library. Um, next week, we'll have Chef Jesse, who's a culinary artist, and we'll end, we'll wrap up the month, rather, because Black History is celebrated every day. Mm -hmm. um, we will wrap up the month with two authors, one who is from New Jersey and another who is local to New Jersey, um, Dr. Gretchen Sarin, who will join us on February 23rd, and Dr. Clarencia Newsom Shade, who will join us on Sunday, February 28th. All right. With that being said, we hope you all are safe and well. Continue to be safe and well. Happy Black History Month. Yeah. Happy, today's not Tuesday, today's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. And another day. Be well. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Do uh, you want to play a little uh, something as we go out? Oh, you know, I could. I mean, I guess, you know, I could do a little something, I suppose. You know, yeah. Something, you know,
Bye, y'all.